Broadcasting from the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence, NCTV 45. NC TV 45 Newcastle The Train Entrusting your loved one to a funeral director is a very personal and emotional decision. The funeral director you choose must understand the importance of the decision you have made. When you call the William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, I recognize what a privilege it is to be chosen at your time of need. We will provide you and your family with the best service possible, with sincerity and compassion. The William and Roger DiCarbo Funeral Home, family owned and operated since 1941. Paula Chalella, Attorney at Law, 113 North Mercer Street, Newcastle. If you're craving hot dogs and more, and you're in the area, then look no farther than Coney Island, downtown Newcastle on Kennedy Square. Today's program furnished by funding from Bill's Bake Shop, where smiles are everywhere. Good morning, Newcastle, and a very pleasant welcome. To news watch morning and um, the coolness in the air is absolutely tremendous as uh, we are at 58 degrees now there's a little bit of fog in through the Newcastle area and uh, so, my man, I was going to show him a shortcut, but that's okay. There's a little fog through the Newcastle area as you get up there. It wasn't out there at, oh, 4 in the morning, but it was um, out there earlier, uh, out there now. And um, we're going to get the Lawrence County 45 weather as uh, we go through. And um, just pick up what's going on in and around stateside. And I want to take some time to thank you for inviting us into your home and enjoying NCTV 45. And uh, it's a pleasure to see you every morning. Now, uh, let me uh, help my man out here one second. And uh, I, the first thing I want to talk about this morning is the football questions and what is starting. Uh, first of all, it's been mentioned. I, I called several people yesterday they are the WPL and the PIA are set to begin football and they're practicing as normal now, here's where the questions come in for you. First question. What will it look like? 
they're talking a seven-game season. And then they're talking about limiting it to 250 people. Now, with a seven-game season, I guess they take week 10 in some instances, make it one, and get it so that you're not playing any out-of-conference games. If there's a state playoff, two teams make it. If there's just WPL, one team makes it. There, there's a lot. And I see both sides of this. If you're going to school virtually, the question is, do you play football? The next question is, how are you going to achieve social distance when football requires that you step up and make the tackle? A lot of these things are going to be decided on Monday. NCTV 45 is going to attempt to get everybody in the county in the picture. So that's Mohawk, Shenango, Laurel, Newcastle, Union, Nishanik, and Wilmington. Now, that's going to be a very difficult operation and I will get and uh, make sure that uh, you uh, are kept up to date on it. It's very hard if not impossible to predict what they're doing. I would send everybody back to school and just act as if things were normal. That's my feeling. I, you know, apparently they're not going to do that. So, uh, speaking of the corona cases, you recall yesterday there was 500 and some, today there's 854. And that's because of the testing. So we got more positives. But they were saying that the deaths were down. And with this decrease in this problem, I would say open the schools, go play football, and uh, hang in there till you get a vaccine. Uh, that's my best case advice to you. Now, um, we've got stuff from Washington here. As uh, hasn't been, uh, uh, the noonday report will be filled with some other stuff that Nadine and Ryan are looking at. But uh, we're going to get to the Washington stuff right after we get to sports. The Cedars Restaurant in Newcastle wants you to indulge in the food from their pleasing menu. The Cedars features Mediterranean, pub food, Middle Eastern cuisine, and so much more. They're open every day, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Call the Cedars on the east side at 827 Addis Street, Newcastle, 724-658-9543. That's 724-658-9543. I'm Ryan Livingood and let's get to sports. 
Ben Roethlisberger has taken the field in an un, in an official capacity for the first time since week two of the 2019 season. Roethlisberger missed all but six quarters of last season following an elbow injury which required surgery in order to repair the damage. We are glad you have returned, Roethlisberger. Also in Pittsburgh, the Penguins won against the Canadians 3-1, to and they are doing a lot better than the Pirates, who have a 2-8 to record and lost yesterday 4-5 to against the Minnesota Twins. Hopefully they can improve their season. In other news, the Pac-12 responded Monday to players who have threatened to opt out of the season because of concerns related to health and safety, racial injustice, and economic rights, with a letter touting the conference's work in those areas, and an invitation to meet later this week also. Pac-12 Commissioner Larry Scott, dated August 3rd, was sent to 12 football players <clears throat> in what is now known as the We Are United movement. The group is giving a reported lengthy list of demands Sunday and said if their demands aren't addressed that they will not practice or play any games. We'll see how that goes. I'm Ryan Livingood and that's all for sports. We will be right back after this timeout. This program furnished by Sporting Goods, 23 East Washington Street, Newcastle. Call 724-658-2535. This program sponsored by Penn Ohio Bottled Water Company. Brian Chez owner. Call 724-498-4760. Brian would be glad to visit. Allie's Upper Crust at 1700 Highland Avenue has a full menu, pizza, roll-ups, salad, soup, sandwiches, strombolis, dinners. They are just great for dine-in or take-out. Don't forget to give them a call at 724-652-7553. It's Allie's Upper Crust. Today's programming furnished by a grant from Chalala and Carney Florist on Mill Street in Newcastle. Jim Micko and Sons 347 East Washington Street in Newcastle can service a lot of your lawn equipment. It's jimmickoandsons.com, their website, and you can email them at jimmickoandsons at verizon.net, their phone number, 724-652-6911. Proud sponsors of Community Television in Newcastle. Hi friends, I'm Gary West, and whether you find Augustine's Pizza at your local grocery store, well, the folks at Augustine's Pizza hope that their pizza is always your first choice for any and all occasions.
Okay, we're back, and uh, a chilly start to the morning. We got two degrees up, we're up to 60, and over at the West Wing. Telehealth revolution here to stay. In just weeks, Americans went through using telehealth, carrying out medical appointments over virtual communications rather than in person in a relatively narrow set of circumstances it makes it one of the most common ways to receive health care health and human services secretary alex azar writes in today usa today former msnbc producer wrote a scathing letter explaining why she recently left the cable network. Joseph Wilson reports, important facts and, and studies get buried, she said. Uh, uh, the model blocks diversity of thought content because the networks here have the incentive to amplify fringe voices. How about that? And um, President was in Yellowstone, Yosemite National Park, to get a long-awaited overhaul. Okay, Great American Outdoors Act. This uh, morning, a historic bipartisan law that marks the longest ever investment into America's national parks. And public lands will also create more than 100,000 in infrastructure jobs. Uh, the president also filed suit with the state of Nevada on the mail-in ballots. Um, in some instances, there are no checks and balances. That's what the president cited as being a major issue with the mail-in ballots. He said, however, Florida has a very good track record with mail-in ballots. Now, uh, let's take a look at radar. Clear in Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania radar also showing that clearness. 60 percent or 60 degrees and uh, I'm going to give you the rest of weather stats as um, very very cool down here as uh, the fog has built in. Here you go. 96% humidity, winds are calm, barometric pressure 30, dew point 58, and visibility 0.15 miles. Now, uh, we're, we're going to take this time, go to weather, and we'll be right back. BSP. Big Shot Bobs are the wings for me. 50 flavors make it right you see. BSB has sandwiches you have to try. Stop in and you'll know why. Every day of the week you see. Call or stop in to BSB. Big Shot Bobs will be your favorite place. Just like me. Easy clean. Car and van wash. Where your clean wash is our goal. Tuscany Square Restaurant 3470 Wilmington Road. Where old world charm meets today's modern conveniences. You'll enjoy their spacious, comfortable seating. Their fresh ingredients that go into making every dish, whether it's pizza, 
or that just right entree. Tuscany Square Restaurant, they're here to serve you. Call 724-654-3065. Hello and welcome once again to Lawrence County 45 weather and uh, always good to have you along and things are getting better. Now after last night's partly cloudy low of 59, how is your day looking? Well, things will clear up and that's going to happen as you see the rain moving off to the south and to the east and that's a good sign for us because we're far enough away from the hurricane that isn't going to bother right here the hurricane well now tropical depression it will be moving out to sea so behind it you see their skies which is great and that will shape your Wednesday now your Wednesday night of course last night 59 but partly cloudy skies great night for sleeping your Wednesday mostly sunny high of 78 picture perfect day take that one and put it in a frame Wednesday night partly cloudy low 54 sleep well again your Thursday, mostly sunny, 82. Thursday night, mostly clear, 58. Friday, sunshine, 85. Just great weather. Look at this. Mostly clear Friday night, low of 60. And sunshine abounds on Saturday with a high of 86. Saturday night, mostly clear, low of 62. Your Sunday, sunshine, and get this, 89. We're creeping up there, folks. Sunday night, partly cloudy, a low of 66. Monday, sunshine, and 86. Just all in all, real great weather. And uh, no wonder San Diego's jealous. Now that was Lawrence County 45 weather, and um, here's hoping you get out and just enjoy that sunshine. We're going to be back after we hear from these great sponsors, so don't you go away. Great dining experience. Hello, friends, and it's Los Amigos. Uh, let me tell you what great food. Whether you get the chimichangas, enchiladas, tacos, whatever you get, you're going to love them. The nice, friendly atmosphere. Stop by, tell them NCTV 45 sent you. It's Los Amigos sponsoring this program. Special thanks going out to Town Mall Pizza for sponsorship of this program, located in the Cascade Galleria, Newcastle. At our law firm, we see you. Come see us at lgkg.com. This program sponsored by Lombardo's Apothecary, 
located at 1230 South Mill Street on the south side of Newcastle. Today's programming is brought to you by NCTV 45 and NC Radio 450, Newcastle's community television station. Welcome back, and um, that's going to do it for this morning news watch. Make sure that you tell a friend and have a friend tell a friend about NCTV 45. They'll be glad you did. And when they say, I don't watch a lot of TV, you tell them that NCTV 45, why we're available anytime on your time. He has a train that runs on your schedule. That's NCTV 45. Now, I have some bad things to do today, so the morning show, not going to make it. We'll be back at you on Thursday when we do an exciting rendition of Cooking the Castle. <laughs> and uh, that's going out to uh, good friend Mr. Latina. Okay, we'll, won't be able to resist this one. Okay, and uh, we'll get all caught up now. Ryan and Nadine will be along with the midday, and you'll also be getting, yeah, uh, bass in. So there'll be all those other things going on. Just make sure that you step up and know about it. NCTV 45, your community station. Make sure you get that second cup of coffee, iced tea, whatever it may be, and have a super day in what I call the greatest castle in the world, in the County of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.